Welcome to our lecture online. Here's another example with ladders and related rates. Now in this case, we do not know the length of the ladder, the length of the ladder, and we are told that the bottom of the ladder is sliding across the floor at a rate of 0.2 meters per second at the moment that the distance from the wall is 3 meters. We're also told that the top portion of the ladder is moving downward or sliding downward at a negative 0.15 meters per second. We do not know where that portion of the ladder is relative to the ground, and we do not know the length of the ladder. But we are trying to find y, the point above the ground that the top portion of the ladder is at, at that very moment. We're going to use the same approach. We're going to use Pythagorean theorem to relate the three sides. We can then say that x squared plus y squared equals l squared and since we're given the rate of sliding both in the x and the y direction we're going to take the derivative of this equation with respect to time on both sides so we get the ddt of the left side that must be equal to the ddt of the right side on the left side, since both x and y are changing, this will become 2x times dx dt plus 2y times dy dt. But on the right side, since l is the length of the ladder and it's not changing, the derivative of l with respect to time must have to be 0. We can now divide both sides of the equation by 2 to get rid of the 2, simplifies it, all right? And now, since we're looking for y, let's solve this equation for y. So we bring this to the other side. We have y dy dt is equal to the negative x dx dt. And then if we divide that by dy dt, we can get y is equal to minus x times the ratio of dx dt divided by dy dt. Let's now plug in the numbers and see what we get. x was given to us as 3 meters, so this is equal to minus 3 meters times dx dt is a positive 0 0.2 meters per second, and the dy dt is a negative 0 0.15 meters per second. So this is a ratio of 4 to 3. Multiply it times 3, I get 3's cancel out, we get 4, so therefore y equals 4 meters. And since we now know what x and y are at that very moment in time, we can now also find the length. We know that the length is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, and so this becomes the square root of x being 3 and y being 4, and that looks like a simple 3, 4, 5 triangle, so yes indeed, the length of the ladder is 5 meters. So if you're given the rates of at which the bottom of the ladder slides away from the wall and the top of the ladder slides towards the floor, you can find the other dimensions of the ladder simply by using the rates. And that's how it's done.